Coming to you live from Slayman Main Stadium in Tampa Bay, home of the Mutineers. This stadium is filled to capacity, and this crowd is feeling it. Yeah, especially that guy with that sword in his back. Well, what do you expect? It was free Saber Day for the Mutineers. First thousand fans get a rusty dull sword. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Midway Mutants battle. The Terror Bay Mutineers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Again, everyone, Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones, Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking when I sprouted this mini me on my shoulder. Rex Jr., get me out. You're a pussy. <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a Turner Grimm. You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot Wow! The quarterback just he like rips his balls. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way! First down and five. confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. says who's next First and ten. Well, he made the pass, but then a slap in the face by the defense. Ah, oh, that's me in the hotel bar every night. Hey, your opening line needs work. Why? Really? What's a pretty girl like you doing here all by herself? Are you a hooker? Well, it's a fair question. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slip. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down.
First and eight to go. Oh, and he might have just saved the touchdown on that deflection. And that'll be second and eight to go. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Oh, yeah, he's a choker. He's a big night smoker. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. I just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hey. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, now, what day is it? And it's first and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. Teeth removed without Nova kick. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. Second down, the side. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> you know, getting that first rep is kind of like fishing. And the first one seems to take forever, then they come in bunches. They'll probably come home with a stringer full of refs by the end of this game. <laughs> first down and seven. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening lineman. You want to see the teeth growing out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Throw Them? Something you need to watch yourself. That's unique. Kabam! Man, the defender just lays a vicious hit on the receiver and jars the ball loose. Third down and six. Picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a, uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. They're gonna be able to return this one.
First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Hot, hot one, hot. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. First and ten. Oh, oh, oh. That gets me every time. Like a jack in a box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is gonna blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Third down and long. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he'd probably have it in a second. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaur. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. There's a bloody red head on the field. No, that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot. Was open downfield, so the QB threw the ball away. When the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. First down. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I... The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. comes to an end. Finally. And it's first and ten. <laughs> when the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches? Nah, they 
first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Eight. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. See that boo, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Eight. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Third and two. Eight. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's that? Exactly. Oh, seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. And it's first and ten. Huh? 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 The defense falls for that trick all the time. <laughs> now they're mopping the players off the field. Literally. Second down and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. And that'll bring up third down and seven. I don't know whose eyes the cute. You may have a bottle of hot sauce shoved up your ass. Quite the description of that painful hit, Junior. Huh? No, no, it's a question here on this online dating profile. It doesn't say if on purpose or by accident. Yeah, I'll leave it blank. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. That's a vicious hit, and that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Ben? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Oh, I love this journey. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. First and ten. The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. Second down, and more than the QB would like. Ball hits the field incomplete. He threw it when no one could catch it. Some things like that in the quarterback. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. He's running out of gas now. Oh, and they got him. That's a touchdown saving tackle. It looks like we've got a penalty here. Yeah, good game for time. Oh, we can have it. First and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Eight. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Well, why go 
for one when you can go for two. It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Two-point plays are high-risk, high-reward, and it just didn't pay off. And now they're both screwed and stupid. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, did he take a punishing hit? You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the waitress at the Boo Hooters chicken wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then the police horse is out front in the stadium earlier. It was just a joke slap, but the horse took it seriously. Not surprised. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. hot. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to hit more receptions than the offense. Good night, Irene. You ever get hit in the face with a shovel, Graham? And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. Game for talent. we have it. And it's first and goal. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, oh crowd's loving it. First down and one. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot Consider running the ball more. And that'll be second and eight to go. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. You want to do some better than time. And they line up for the extra point. You have got to be kidding me. My sister could have made that kick. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story. Like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the line, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. Shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! My sister could have made that kick. Isn't your sister in a wheelchair? I know, right? The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond.
and it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. He heard footsteps, so he tossed the ball out of bounds. Good move. Third down and ten. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Oh, uh, come on. That was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. First and ten. That run is good for nine yards. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out during halftime. And that'll bring up second and one. Line the way a Republican congressman hits the effort. And all of a sudden, another hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And it's first and ten. smokes he just killed that player with a cheap shot that's why we love the mfl and that's the last time out they can't stop the clock anymore can any of us really stop the clock grim i mean when it comes right down to it are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality of that's constant relentless advance if only it was as easy as telling them and he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception and it's why he's on defense schmuck Second down and ten. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. <laughs> and the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard. I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me. And he was stuck to him like glue. <laughs> when in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. He's rumbling in 
Kevin Semling. He could go all the way. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. It's anyone's game as the third quarter begins. Both teams have taken their performance-enhancing drugs, and everyone is ready to rock and roll. The teams line up for the second-half kickoff. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Baby, no, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. First and ten. No, seriously, man. You think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Second down in a very lot. <laughs> This dirty drink. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. First down and one. Second down in a lot. He dropped it, and he does that again. They'll drop him. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the points and let's move on. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate.
breaks away. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Any mistakes here? Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. Just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Right, the QB is going to have more interceptions. Oh, with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. <laughs> and it's first and ten. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada! And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot... Hot! And that pass is good for about five yards. Second down and five. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. The quarterback rigged the ball to explode, and the defensive player got blown to bits. <laughs> Third down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two. Gets another pick. Man, rough day. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? No. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. And it's first and ten. And the defense just called the ginormous. And another interception. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run! Take 
all you mutants out. That's right. What are you talking about? And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he made this. Oh, what the? Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I got to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Nah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. The way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Second down and a lot. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Assembling. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. I don't think you can see that, man. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. 
When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. for a first down. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused! Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. The quarterback steps back and he scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Nah, don't call things epic, friend. Kids aren't gonna think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Crusher right there, folks. Third and two. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy. In the the Mutineers get buried today and lose by forfeit. Man, it's brutal out there. Body parts everywhere. They had a better chance of baptizing a herd of cats than winning this game. It was close for a while, but in the end, it was just too much for them, and they couldn't get it done. Sounds like your wedding night, doesn't it? Hey, they got pills for that. You know that commercial where they show a mummy getting a boner? What the hell are you talking about, Bricks? I don't know. I get confused often. I'm on a lot of painkillers. Well, moving right along, let's hear what the MVP has to say. I'm a house camel a camel. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every up.